Y'all, I come to you today with um, great sadness. Unfortunately, the uh, legendary, multi-talented, extremely sexy Tina Turner has passed away at the age of 83. Tina has had a uh, great life and a hard life. She's been a rock and roll star for decades. And the world will be just a little bit more quiet, unfortunately, without her. The great Tina Turner, singer Tina Turner, who sold classics and pop hits like the best and what's love got to do with it made her a superstar. She transitions to at age 83. Turner had suffered a number of health issues in recent years, including cancer, a stroke, and kidney failure. She rose to fame alongside husband Ike in the 1960s with songs including Proud Mary and River Deep Mount and Mountain High. And River Deep Mountain High, excuse me. She divorced Ike in 1978 and went on to find greater success as a solo artist in the 1980s. They had a very tumultuous um, relationship and um, it's just a poorly written sentence there. Dubbed the queen of rock and roll, Tina Turner was famed for her raunchy and energetic stage performances and husky, powerful voice vocals. Who did this article? A raunchy and energetic stage performance? Not words I would use. She won eight Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021 as a solo artist, having first been inducted alongside Ike in 1991. Well, that had to be um, a festival. Upon her solo induction, the Hall of Fame noted how she had uh, expanded the once limited idea of how a black woman could conquer a stage and be both a powerhouse and a multidimensional being. Younger stars who have felt her influence include Beyonce, Janet Jackson, Janelle, Monet, and Rihanna. Born in Tennessee, into a sharecropping family, she first found prominence as one of the backing singers in her husband's band, The Kings of Rhythm. She soon went to the front of the band, and the couple tasted commercial success with Fool in Love, and It's Gonna Work Out Fine, which made the U.S. charts in the 1960s. The other hits included 1973's Nutbush City Limits, about the small town where Tina was born. Never heard of Nutbush, Tennessee. That seems like a place I would know about. But Ike's physical and emotional abuse was taking its toll. It was he who changed her name from her birth name, Anna Mae Bullock, to Tina Turner. A decision he took without her knowledge. One example of his controlling behavior. I think she answered as uh, Tina Turner her whole life. Um, after that, but I could be wrong. She recalled the trauma she suffered throughout the relationship in a 2018 memoir, My Love Story, in which she compared sex with the late musician as to a kind of rape. I mean, this is like five paragraphs talking bad about Ike. I want to hear good things about Tina. He used my nose as a punching bag so many times I could taste blood running down my throat when I sang, she wrote. Uh, ironically, uh, singers um, have complained about um, singing until their uh, throats bled, and they've oftentimes uh, took that as a sign of hard work. I'm not um, belittling what she's saying there. I think it's weird that both those things have come true. And this one weirdly written article. 
After escaping her abuser, she went on to rebuild her career and become one of the biggest pop and rock stars of the 80s and 90s, with hits including Let's Stay Together, Steamy Windows, Private Dancer, James Bond themed GoldenEye, I Don't Want to Fight, and It Takes Two, a duet with Rod Stewart. She also starred in 1985 film Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, which featured another of her smashes, We Don't Need Another Hero, and the Who's 1975 rock opera Tommy as the Acid Queen. She was an uh, anti-entity in um, the uh, Thunderdome, uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And uh, by the way, Mad Max is a, a national hero of Australia. So it's, um, she's just, Tina is bringing inspiration and hope and everything everywhere. Uh, she found happiness with her second husband, German music executive, Erwin Bach. They began dating in the mid eighties and got married in 2013. I'm surprised they haven't mentioned that he's a billionaire as well. The pair lived in Switzerland with Turner uh, taking Swiss citizenship. He donated one of his kidneys to her in 2017 after it was discovered she was suffering from kidney failure. Holy cow. Hmm. That gave me cold chills. That guy, I've heard of him, and I, I was kind of thinking back in my mind while beginning to read this article. I was like, you know, they're not talking about that she also found love. I believe he was a, you know, a white man. Um, she moved to Switzerland with him. Um, you know, I was kind of surprised to hear the whole story a few years ago about them. Uh, she became uh, kind of withdrawn from uh, the public eye. I guess some of that now is because of health, but it was um, uh, it was just one of those stories that you were like, "Boy, that's something else." She found uh, she finally found the love that she always deserved. I mean, you hear that he donated one of his kidneys to her in 2017. It just gave me cold chills. Uh, Erwin Bach, I, I feel sympathy towards right now. Um, she also suffered the tragedy of the loss of her eldest son, Craig, to suicide in 2018. His father was Turner's former bandmate, Raymond Hill. Another son, Ronnie, whose father was Ike Turner, died in 2022. She also had two adopted sons, Ike Jr. and Michael, Ike's children from a previous relationship. Tina's life story spawned a 1993 biopic entitled What's Love Got to Do With It, which earned Angela Bassett an Oscar nomination for playing the star in a hit stage musical aptly titled Tina the Musical. She was also the subject of HBO documentary Tina in 2021. I will be watching that. In an interview with Mary Claire, South Africa in 2018, Tina, uh, excuse me, Turner said, People think my life has been tough, but I think it's been a wonderful journey. The older you get, the more you realize it's not what happened, it's how you deal with it. Hell yeah, Tina Turner. God bless you. And thank you, God, for blessing us with this incredibly wonderful talent, giving us the her shared abilities. Her, she is an inspiration. As a, a rock and roll guy, I'm um, Tina's my girl, man. I, I absolutely love her. Uh, she, um, she's just she's awesome. And uh, let's see here. I'll show you guys. Let's see if I can pull this up. Uh, another thing that I uh, really um, respect and really love about uh, Tina. I've never, I was thinking about it earlier before I, I sat down to do this. I've never thought of Tina with an age. Uh, she's always been, and I didn't know her age until today. And she's always been, um, I don't know, as a little kid, uh, I think. It's like, well, she's like 60 years old, you know? And it's like, she's always been 60. She's always been 60. A uh, sexy? Yeah, she's 60 years old. That's Tina Turner, 60 years old. And look at those legs. Son of a gun, man. You talk about God's true gift. This is, um, I've always been a legs man. So 
there is not a better way to promote the life of Tina Turner than through that. I mean, look at this. Look at all these pictures. I mean, she was in her 70s in some of these pictures. I mean, she just, is, look at her, she's showing off her leg. I mean, I just love this girl. Look at her, young Tina. Boy, look at that. You can just tell that face just has sass. God, I love sass too. But reminds me a lot of my own, um, my own love of my life. But uh, anyway, this is the first time I've ever uh, done a uh, a uh, eulogy, I guess, a in memoriam for a uh, uh, celebrity that has meant so much to so many people. And I've smiled the entire time because I know that when this is over, I'm going to start playing some Tina Turner music. I'm going to turn it up real loud. Uh, make sure she can hear it. Guys, take care of yourself. Tell everybody you know you love them today. And um, <laughs> what's love got to do with it? It's got to do with a lot. So love you guys. Please um, uh, hang around. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Come back. Hang out with me. And we'll live life like Tina did. Um, rolling on that river, okay? Till later, y'all. Be safe and Godspeed. Love y'all.